Okay, in this final video in a three-part series, we're going to be looking at how to create relationships in Access databases. Relationships are the heart of relational databases, specifically use the interconnectedness of tables to relate data types to one another. When we pull queries, the data must be connected in order for that data to be able to pull interesting results. So let's go under our database tools tab and click on the relationship option. We want to show all tables. So right now I have the table service, appointment and customer. I need appointment service, pet and vet. So I'm just holding down control to select multiple and I'm going to add those all. You'll see that there are already some relationship lines. That's because we use the lookup wizard to create those relationships. I'm going to now rearrange the tables here so that I can see them all clearly and I can build the relationship lines so that none of them overlap. We're going to be dragging and dropping the primary key to the foreign key field for each table. You'll notice that each table has a primary key. This is very important and that primary key is related to a foreign key in another table. This is how you create the connectedness between data types. So for example, I've got a customer and those customers have pets. Now the pets are really what is the center at the center of a vet clinic, right? They serve as pets. So we need to make sure that they are connected to the appointments. To do that, I'm going to click on pet ID and drag and drop it to pet ID, the foreign key in the appointment table. This will edit the relationship in this dialogue. We're going to enforce referential integrity. Let's create that relationship. And now you'll see it is a one to many relationship type. We've got a few lines here that don't have the one and the many. These were created using the lookup wizard. We can double click on those to enforce referential integrity. Essentially what this means is that the customer exists in the customer table and it is that same customer I'm referring to in the customer table with that ID that I'm again referring to in the pet table and that those IDs work between each table. So clicking OK and double clicking on the line here. If you miss the line, just close the dialog and try again. So double clicking on all of those lines that don't have the one and infinity symbol to enforce referential integrity. And finally, we're going to connect the vet to the appointment. So dragging and dropping that and clicking the referential integrity. So we now have all of our relationships confirmed in this database and we are ready to start pulling queries and creating appointments. So let's take a look at what it looks like to create and why I use the lookup wizard um, instead of just creating relationships in the relationship tool. So here, the lookup wizard gives me the ability to create this drop down. So when I'm creating an appointment now, it's really easy for me to determine the pet. And then here I can use, of course, the calendar to set the date and the number of units in the appointment. The appointment table is pulling a service type. So let's go into this table and take a look at what's happening here. Okay, I can't save the record, so I'm just going to escape, and that will let's see what's in the vet table. The vet table has our names. That's correct. And let's go into our database relationships tool. I'm going to delete the relationship between the vet and the appointment and recreate it as a lookup, just to confirm. So here I go into the table appointment in design view and changing the vet ID using the lookup wizard to connect the table vet using the vet's first and last name. Now, if you didn't get this error, don't worry. Um, I'm going to set the, desk, the, the data integrity here. Yes, save the table. And let's try that again. Let's create an appointment. Here's our vet, and here are our vet's names. So that looks correct. You don't want to see the services in here. So if you made that change, please pause the video, go back, and review how I did that. I deleted the relationship and then I used the lookup wizard to ensure there was integrity between the data types. Let's see. Again, I didn't create all of the fields in here, so I'm going to 
hit escape on this um, to be able to exit and close.